so yes hello everyone let me just have a check that uh, everything is okay and i am visible the screen is clear and i am audible to you so this is the session of general anatomy mcq session this is the second part of the general anatomy mcq and already the general anatomy topics i have covered up on this platform that is anacademy future doctors and uh, the mcqs are related to that topic so concurring for the neat pg examination myself dr mona lisa md anatomy from armed force medical college pune has got a total of 9 years of teaching experience so i would also like to uh, tell you about the uh, important aspects to be uh, covered up in the upcoming sessions and it is important that you should be present live for the special class so that you are not going to miss any of the sessions taken by all the educators so you can be the part of these sessions and these are specially present on the platform of uh, an academy you can present live for the session this is present on the free platform raise your hands get your doubts clear never ever miss a session once the session is finished you can also download the pdf notes anytime anywhere read from the top educators of an academy platform this is highly highly beneficial for you so already general anatomy topics has been covered on the platform of future doctors an academy future doctors so only i am conducting this general anatomy mcq series plus subscription all 19 subjects are targeted in a very systematic way you can have an access to both recorded and that of the live versions you can study from india's top educator you can also have an access to 25000 and more mcqs you can use this code and add 10 and get a discount of 10% this will be highly beneficial for you iconic subscription means the merging of the prep ladder and anacademy has been done so you get the benefits of clinical integrated essentials video lectures from dream team q bank 3 active guidance rapid revision and printed notes along with the benefits of the plus course of anacademy so again you can use my code and get a discount of 10% congratulations to the toppers of fmg december session i wish them best of luck so that they can target upcoming sessions with a very good rank now neat pg free test calendar so this is the free test calendar until 27th of the march so till 27th of the march whole of the details has been uh, shown here just uh, you can enlarge have this uh, details and already i want you to tell that um, this live test study uh, with me youtube test series uh, so anatomy test is coming up that is 6 pm tomorrow so do attend this live this will be highly beneficial okay so you can be the part of these sessions by using my code and use my code and be the part of this free test series now all india need pg mock test is going to happen on 27th 9 am so again you can enroll in this free test by using my code and add 10 and this will be highly highly beneficial for you so previous year question banks when we are talking about previous year question bank you can be the part of these past three year question papers of all 19 subject and you can be the part of this session again you can use my code for being the part of these sessions okay the previous year questions of neat pg and ins ct launching first prof uh, uh, mbbs prof 1 okay to targeting uh, the uh, so the target is cracking mbbs and next so the target is cracking mbbs and net next uh, examination so in depth comprehensive concept coverage clinical integrated essentials answer writing full test uh, and live interaction doubt clearing session recorded versions would be always available is also available and pdf notes are there so be the part of these sessions this will be highly highly beneficial for you so use the code and add 10 and uh, have a 10 percent discount uh, in taking the uh, course that is launching the first prof mbbs course now need pg 2022 high yield theory revision batches there and this will be again highly beneficial for you uh, by uh, joining this session this is a session um, starting from the march 30th ending on may 15 so you can be the part of the session taken by the top educators fmg 2022 high yield revision batch again the session taken by the top educators so high ill revision mcq batch here also i am taking the whole of the mcq so of anatomy so again you can be the part of this session that is fmg 22 high ill revision batch so be the part of this session and this will be highly highly beneficial for you need pg subscription pricing details has been compared that is plus subscription iconic and light subscription as you can see this will help you to decide which subscription you uh, you can take use my code and add 10 and get an additional discount of 10 percent so just use my code and add 10 and get an additional discount of 10 percent study with me anatomy test series is going to happen on 25th of march uh, that is on friday 6 pm is the timing so do enroll in this uh, test exciting prizes are waiting for you rank one two and three so go for it and win amazon vouchers okay get enrolled in this test so let's start with the mcq session now let's start with the mcq session now okay 
okay just uh, okay so just start with the mcq session now let's start with the first mcq of today's session okay so which of the following joint is paired correctly with its type which of the following joint is paired correctly with its type five options are there proximal and distal radio ulnar joint condyloid synovial joint radio carpal joint pivot type of synovial joint intercarpal joint plain synovial joint metacarpophalangeal joint uh, is a variety of hinge synovial joint and interphalangeal joint is an example of condyloid synovial joint so you can see five combination are there so just pick the right combination here which of the following joint is paired correctly with the type with the type okay five options are there and go for the right answer so your time starts now okay so here five options are there this is a match the following type of mcq and you have to tell which of the following pairing is the correct pairing uh, in this uh, in this uh, five options okay so my dear aspirants when we are taking seeing this uh, when we are seeing this option so uh, so here c is the correct answer intercarpal joint is plain type of synovial joint okay so yes the articulation which is seen between the carpal bone is plain type of an articulation proximal and distal radio ulnar joint is not a condyloid joint it is a pivot type of synovial joint so it is wrong the radio carpal joint wrist joint is ellipsoid variety of synovial joint okay so it is also wrong actually functionally it can uh, functionally ellipsoid and uh, condyloid is structural classification metacarpophalangeal joint again ellipsoid joint functionally but condyloid also if the structural classification is taken interphalangeal joint is also not condyloid but it is a hinge variety of synovial joint so the correct pair is the intercarpal joint which is plain type of synovial joint intercarpal joint which is a plain type of synovial joint so here proximal and distal radio ulnar joint is pivot type of synovial joint okay radio carpal joint is condyloid variety structural but if i talk about uh, functional it is ellipsoid joint intercarpal joint is plain type metacarpophalangeal joint again condyloid but if i go for functional classification it is ellipsoid type of joint interphalangeal joint is hinge variety of synovial joint let's move on to the question next question that is uh, okay so yes we will um, so i have taken from the series so it is the question number 1 now let's move on to question number second question number second so this is the second one okay question number second all carpo metacarpal joints are plain type of synovial joint except all carpo metacarpal joints are plain type of synovial joint except so five options are there carpo metacarpal joint of thumb carpo metacarpal joint of the fifth metacarpal carpo metacarpal joint of the third metacarpal intermetacarpal joints or the intermetacarpal joints of fourth fifth or first or second metacarpal so question number second please mark the correct answer according to you which is the right combination all carpo metacarpal and intermetacarpal joints are plain type of synovial joint except which is not a plain type of synovial joint so yes so those who uh, are knowing the answer they can write in the message otherwise i will come up with the explanation so here the correct joint is carpo metacarpal joint of thumb actually if i have to go with the correct uh, combination i will go with the right answer here carpo metacarpal joint actually carpo metacarpal joint of the thumb is not a plain type of synovial joint it is of which variety it is of saddle type of articulation so see here carpo metacarpal joint of all the uh, all other fingers all other uh, 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 if we take uh, the second third or fourth all these are the example of plain type of synovial joint but carpo metacarpal joint if we consider uh, for the thumb this is an example of saddle variety of synovial joint so especially a is the so this shows that a is perfectly the right answer let's move on to the next question number third so again this will be the question number third so this is question number third okay all of the following are true about metaphysis except which of the following is not a true statement about metaphysis all of the following are true statement about metaphysis of the bone except which of the following is not a true statement about metaphysis it is the strongest part of the bone it is the most vascular part of the bone growth activity is maximized here it is the reason favoring hematogenous spread of infection according to you which is the right answer question number 3 So yes your time starts now please mark the correct answer question number 
all of the following are true statement about metaphysis of the bone except so yes a is the correct answer because this is the wrong statement strongest part of the bone is not the metaphysis but strongest part of the bone is diaphysis okay so this is wrong it's most vascular maximum growth occurs and this is the reason favoring yes hina khan you are absolutely right this is the reason which is favoring hematogenous spread of infection so the incorrect option is the uh, the first option that it is the strongest part of the bone actually it is not correct yes it is not the strongest part of the bone uh, the metaphysis but it is the diaphysis which is the strongest part of the bone yes uh, hello to everyone those who have joined now let's move on to the next that is question number 4 So let's move on to the next that is question number 4. So this is question number 4. Okay. So my dear aspirants atlanto occipital joint articulation between between the first vertebra that is atlas atlas vertebra and occipital condyles and occipital condyles in a, is an example of which type of synovial joint atlanto occipital joint is of which variety whether it is of trochoid joint which is also called as uh, the pivot joint ellipsoid joint condyloid or saddle joint which is the right answer question number 4 okay atlanto occipital joint is the which variety of synovial joint four options are there and you have to mark the right answer atlanto occipital joint is of which variety of synovial joint question number 4 so atlanto occipital joint the correct answer is it's a ellipsoid variety of joint yes uh, cover you are absolutely right yes it's b yes you are absolutely right cover it's the ellipsoid joint yes if you will see it so please see this articulation so you can see ao joint ao joint means articulation between when i am talking about ao joint so i am enlarging this image you can see the articulation between atlas and the occipital condyle so when we are talking about atlas and occipital condyles this articulation is an example of ellipsoid variety of synovial joint ellipsoid variety of synovial joint but when we are talking about the articulation between aa that means atlanto axial joint atlanto axial joint actually median atlanto axial joint it becomes a pivot type of synovial joint okay lateral articulation if i talk about lateral articulation again the lateral articulation of atlanto axial joint is plain type of synovial joint but median atlanto axial joint that is articulation between the first and the second cervical vertebra that is between the odontoid process uh, is articulating here as you can uh, see in this diagram the odontoid process of the axis articulating with that of the atlas bone in the ring and this is an example of pivot joint okay now question number 5th so let's move on to the next that is question number 5th So yes, question number fifth. Okay, bone ossified at the birth. Which of the following bone is ossified at the birth? Which of the following bone is ossified at birth? Upper end of humerus, lower end of humerus, lower end of the femur, or none of the above? Bone ossified at birth. so my dear aspirants we know that primary center of ossification primary center of ossification appears before birth appears before birth okay primary center of ossification appears before birth that is uh, uh, that is correct except some of the bones are not uh, obeying this rule the bones are navicular bone and that of cuneiform bones in which primary center of ossification is appearing after birth same way we know that secondary center of ossification same way we know that secondary center of ossification appears 
after birth it appears after birth but some of the bones is again disappointing this low and uh, and the ossification centers we can say that ossification centers around knee that means lower end of femur and upper end of tibia is appearing in that case the secondary center of ossific ossification appears by ninth month of intrauterine life or just before the birth so here the secondary center is appearing before birth generally secondary center should appear after the birth so this is not violating this rule and in case of the lower end so here the correct answer is lower end of the femur here the secondary center of ossification is appearing before birth but it has to appear after birth so this is not obeying the loop so done now let's move on to the next that is uh, that is the question number 6th okay question number 6 with respect to so with respect to basic anatomy okay so yes write down with respect to basic anatomy with respect to basic anatomy of bones all of the following statements are true except with respect to basic anatomy so question number 6 please mark the correct answer with respect to basic anatomy of the bone all of the following statements are absolutely true except so four options are there diaphysis is derived from the primary center of ossification compact bone is present in diaphysis of long bone cancellous bone is present in epiphysis of the long bone and haveration system is absent in compact bone so according to you so everyone please mark the correct answer all those who are present like that any if you are not knowing also you can mark a guess that which is the right otherwise i will come up with the explanation which is the wrong statement here if we are talking about the basic anatomy of the bone which of the following statement is the wrong statement about the bone so four options are there go for the right answer haveration system is absent in bone diaphysis derived from so actually the correct answer is d haveration system can anybody tell me haveration system is always it is present it is not absent it is present in compact bone so this is the wrong statement this is the wrong statement why because it is present it is not absent it is present in the compact bone diaphysis yes primary center of ossification appears in the shaft of growing long bone so it is present in diaphysis compact bone also appear at the diaphysis and cancellous bones are present at the epiphyseal part of the long bone so expressly the fourth option is not right because we know that uh, if we talk about haveration system which is also called as osteon this is definitely present and it is a key features or a structure seen in case of compact bone so d option is absolutely not correct so first thing which i want you to show that compact bone as you can see here in the middle part diaphysis epiphysis okay Yes, uh, uh, Waltzman Canal. You want to ask? Okay, I will show you. Okay, I will show you Waltzman Canal. Yes, dear Jova, I will show you Waltzman Canal. At the ends of the bone, epiphysis is there, which is one epiphysis center closes uh, later than the other. That is the growing end, and epiphysis uh, um, direction of growth is always opposite to the direction of Newton foramen. So yes, now uh, okay. So yes, uh, for uh, the Waltzman Canal, I will definitely show you. Um, Jova, so see here. I'm I'm enlarging this image. So when I am enlarging this image, what you can appreciate here that this is the structure of compact bone. What you are seeing is the compact bone, and this is one unit. So you can see here, this is one unit. Okay, this is another unit. So this are actually haveration system. What are these? These are haveration system and it is definitely present in case of compact bone or have osteon and in the middle of it in the middle of it you can see here in the middle of it what is this this is haveration canal this is have hc haveration canal now this is one haveration canal this is another haveration canal is it okay now can you see the connection between one haveration canal to other so you, what you can appreciate here this is the connection between one haveration canal and the other this is one haveration canal this is the other haveration canal and the connection between one haveration canal to that of the other is called as waltzman canal okay so yes so this is waltzman canal this is waltzman canal and this is forming connection between the one haveration canal and that of the other okay 
so uh, yes jo uh, jova always uh, the key uh, link of the session is provided in the group so you can join let's crack neat pg or future doctor telegram group of an academy my own group also so there you will get the notification of all my you will get the link of my session so generally evening sessions are there so i also take sessions on the other platforms like um, yes dear okay so yes it's like ki i am on many of the platforms so i also take many of the sessions for competitive exam so this is an additional channel which is dedicated for also conceptual study that is an academy future doctors so yes definitely upper limb nerves have been already covered here so yes joa you can see the nerves now i will come up with different topics like uh, pectoral all the muscles is also covered okay so our muscles is also covered so few more topics are there mammary gland and joints and many topics and anatomical reasons are there so in this month uh, i will help you out uh, i will help you in that session so yes jova i will give you more session don't worry I, okay the sessions please uh, uh, so you can uh, just follow my sessions which i take on the on the group that is the youtube session that is an academy future doctors dr mona lisa you will get notification and also you can join the telegram group where you will get all the notification and links of my sessions so also i take sometimes sessions on the special platform where you can also get the pdf notes of the session which i take you can be present live and you can get the pdf notes so now my dear aspirants i would like to show you let me enlarge this here you can see haveration canal at c is the haveration canal and you can see it is surrounded by so many lamina which is the matrix and in that you can see these structures what are these uh, oval structures these are lacunae what are these and these are exactly the lacunae and inside the lacunae what lies osteocytes osteocytes okay osteocytes so let's focus on the class uh, so many of the sessions i uh, uh, generally take okay don't worry so many of the sessions i take but uh, all the full syllabus of first year mbbs will be taken on the plus course okay so yes and at me first year uh, sessions is also starting on the plus course so all of you if anyone is interested can join so but many of the sessions i will uh, hope i will uh, mm, especially complete on this channel don't worry but few of the lectures uh, entire 100% sessions don't can't be taken on the platform right now but we'll try to finish many of the topics okay so lacunae in which osteocytes reside and you will see that there is canaliculi which will form communication which will form communication and through that communication uh the through that communication what happens the um, communication is between the cells the bone cells osteocytes through canaliculi and this one unit is called as haveration system or the osteon so this is a important characteristic feature seen in the seen in the compact bone now let's we have done with this uh, that is question number 6 i would like to proceed with question number 7 okay question number 7 just a minute question number 7 parasympathetic fiber stimulate secretion of all the gland okay so right now we will concentrate on the topics and mcq session parasympathetic fiber stimulate secretion by all the glands except parasympathetic fiber stimulate secretion by all the glands except so we have got sweat glands we have got lacrimal glands we have got salivary glands nasal glands and palatine glands so you have to tell me which of the following secretion of the gland is not stimulated by a parasympathetic innervation or by a different uh, stimulation so please mark the correct answer for question number 7 for question number 7 dear question number 7 okay so actually if i talk about correct answer it's the sweat gland because it is sympathetically innervated it is sympathetic it is getting sympathetic innervation all these structures like primal salivary are parasympathetically innervated but sweat gland is sympathetically stimulated so with exception to the sweat gland glandular secretion is parasympathetic stimulated okay now let's talk about the next one that is question number 8 
reticular fibers of collagen tissue is present in all except reticular fibers of collagen tissue is present in all except reticular fibers of collagen tissue is present in all except thymus bone marrow spleen or lymph node which is the right answer reticular fibers of collagen tissue is present in all except four options are there please mark the correct answer So this is a histological question actually the correct answer is thymus because thymus is one of the histological structure lymphoid structure which is getting which is having epithelio reticular cells reticular cells so all other cell uh, structure which is mentioned bone marrow spleen and lymph node is having the supporting network by reticular fibers but thymus gland is having epithelio reticular cells it is having epithelio reticular cells as the supporting network so here epithelio reticular cell is very important cell residing in the thymus gland which is important to form btb what is btb blood thymic barrier so due to the presence of epithelio reticular cells in thymus gland which also take part in formation of blood thymic barrier it prevents the interaction of blood antigen to interact with the developing immature t lymphocyte lying in the interior of the thymus gland so it prevent the interaction of blood antigen which is which would have been reacted with that of the immature t lymphocyte so definitely thymus gland is the right answer so let's talk about the next one question number 9th okay this is question number 9th okay so vasa vasora question number 9th okay vasa vasorum please mark the right answer this is question number 9th vasa vasorum okay vasa vasorum includes vasa vasorum include what is the definition of vasa vasorum what is it is it small blood vessel supplying the walls of large blood vessel it is small blood vessel supplying the nerves veins supplying the arteries veins are combining the nerves question number 9 mark the correct answer vasa vasorum includes which of the following vasa vasorum includes which of the following question number 9th so vasa vasorum actually it is the correct answer is a actually vasa vasorum are very small it is in the general uh, histology of blood vessel i have explained this these are very small blood vessel which is giving nutrition to larger blood vessels like large artery or large vein what happens the blood flow or diffusion the blood which is diffusing and flowing inside the um, lumen of the blood vessels in case of large artery and in case of large vein the outermost wall that is tunica adventitia we know that our uh, outermost layer is tunica adventitia or tunica externa is not able to get the, the proper blood supply is not able to get the proper nutrition from the diffusion of the nutrients from the blood flowing inside so in that case there is um, uh, there is small blood vessels which is lying in the outermost layer tunica adventitia or also in the outer part of tunica media and this is providing nutrition to the outer layer of blood vessels okay so here i would like to show you this diagram where you can appreciate vasa vasorum here you can see this is the small blood vessels as you can see in this diagram these are small blood vessels which is located in the outer wall of outer wall or layer of blood vessels that is tunica adventitia we know that this is tunica media and in the tunica adventitia in case of large artery and large vein there is an additional small blood vessel which is giving nutrition which is called as the vasa vasorum which is called as vasa vasorum okay so done with this so we have done with question number 9th let's move on to question number 10th okay so okay the type of structure shown in so what if, so this is also histology of cartilage i have done already in this platform only i have finished with histology of cartilage so firstly you have to identify this is the slide of which cartilage whether hyaline fibro 
or elastic cartilage and then you have to see which is the correct example of the cartilage. So here options are intervertebral disc, articular disc, epiphyseal plate or pinna. So according to you which is the right answer. The type of structure found in the histological slide is which of the following structure is found in the histological slide? Type of structure shown in the histological slide is present in which of the following structure? Options are intervertebral disc, articular disc, epiphyseal plate or pinna which is the right answer. Any idea? So which slide is this? So uh, let me explain. So this is hyaline cartilage. So what is this? This is hyaline cartilage. Okay, this is hyaline cartilage. So why it is a slide of hyaline cartilage I will explain. You can see here these are all what? These are all cell nest. What is this? These are all cell nest isogenic group and this is the perichondrium. This is the perichondrium. So a cell having the slide is having the perichondrium having the uh, basophilic matrix is having the basophilic matrix homogeneous basophilic matrix is having the presence of chondrocytes outer will be the fibrous layer and this will be the chondrogenic layer so all these features are giving us the hint that this is a slide which is of also the homogeneous basophilic matrix or ground substance is giving us the hint that this is a slide of hyaline cartilage and we know that epiphyseal cartilage is an example of Hyaline cartilage. So, we will go with C as the right answer. Epiphyseal cartilage is an example of hyaline cartilage. Other than that, now intervertebral disc is not the right answer, articular disc because these two are the example of fibrocartilage. They are not an example of hyaline cartilage. Pinna is also not the right answer, it is an example of elastic cartilage. So, we have got C as the right answer. Here and another diagram where you can see the um, slide, this is again the slide of hyaline cartilage. So once again a better view of the diagram and the histological image. So here so many of the chondrocytes are there. So whole slide here you can see these are the chondrocyte which is in the form of cell nest or isogenic group. Here the matrix is basophilic homogeneous matrix is there. And here this is the P for perichondrium and uh, this is a slide actually seromucous gland. This is a cut part of the trachea and this is showing you the hyaline cartilage slide. So definitely this is the right answer. Okay, question number 10. Let's move on to the next that is question number 11th. So this is question number 11th. Your time starts now. <clears throat> panicleus adiposus is seen in which of the following structure you find panicleus adiposus. Panicleus adiposus is seen in scrotum, it is seen in orbit, it is seen in eyelid or penis which is the right answer. Panicleus adiposus is seen in which of the following is present. So at certain places we have got absence of panicleus adiposus of subcutaneous fat. So you have to tell me at which places it is uh, seen, it is present among the option provided. Paniculus adiposus subcutaneous fat. The correct answer is orbit. So scrotum is not having paniculus adiposus eyelid and penis also. Actually other than that nipple and areola. Areole. So all these structures is having absence of subcutaneous fat and the subcutaneous fat is called as a term is used for it that is called as paniculus adiposus. So these are the location where there is absence of fat which is called as paniculus adiposus. So only orbit is having the presence of fat and that superficial fat is called as paniculus adiposus. Okay, let us move on to the next, uh, next one that is question number 12. So this is question number 12. Okay, so this is the question number 12. Okay, ligament. So, which is the major composition for the so ligamentum flavum? So, ligamentum flavum. What is the composition of ligamentum flavum? Please tell me what is the composition of ligamentum flavum. Ligamentum flavum is containing which type of fibers? Type 1 collagen fibers, type 2 collagen fibers, reticular fibers or elastin, which is the right answer. Ligamentum flavum have which type of fibers? Type 1 type 2 collagen fibers, reticular fibers, elastin, which is the right answer. Okay, 
so actually let me explain when we are talking about ligamentum flavum okay so it is basically having more of elastin fibers actually ligamentum flavum requires elasticity so it is having collagen fibers also but the major component of this elasticity is by due to the presence of elastin so it is having more composition it is having 20% only collagen fibers much more uh, quantity it is having the elastin for its uh, um, elasticity so that is the right answer ligamentum flavum the correct answer will be d that is elastin okay everyone now see here here you can see this is the location of ligamentum flavum which you are seeing which is connecting the adjacent vertebras laminae and it is basically having more of elasticity is given to it and that is due to the presence of more of elastin fibers or elastic fibers so this is the right answer now moving to question number 13 so yes let's move on to question number 13 so this is the question number 13 your time starts now okay sinusoids are seen in all of the following except so that means where so firstly you have to know in the blood vessel histology class i have uh, given you the details so when we are talking about sinusoids so what is sinusoids sinusoids are the capillaries which is quite fenestrated the sinusoids are the capillaries which is quite fenestrated so okay so fenestration is there so you have to tell me which of the following is the correct answer sinusoids are seen in all of the following except where the sinusoids are not seen or absent okay means a highly permeable capillary which is having discontinuity in the endothelium and also the discontinuity in the basement membrane so where is the location there there is no presence of sinusoids in the option provided sure i will let you know the course is starting course is starting course is starting so my dear aspirants so yes jova gaming king many of you are asking the course is starting and i will let you know okay sure i will take a session so yes also my many sessions are there on the special classes and also on the free platform but if you want entire course to be completed uh, with your pdf notes with your uh, regular live classes and with your recorded version so that will be only given on the plus course of unacademy so the dates are getting finalized so when i know it i will uh, i will tell in one of the session or i will post on the future doctors also okay you will get information regarding that don't worry i will post it also so on the telegram group of unacademy also it will be showing uh, the the shots will be there or any of the session also i will give you the information of my uh, plus course being started so you all will know about it don't worry definitely i am starting so sinusoids are seen in all of the following except which is the right answer sinusoids are seen in all of the following except so my dear aspirants here the correct answer is sinusoids are seen in all of the following except kidney because here we have got just the fenestrated capillaries so in kidney we have got fenestrated capillary not exactly sinusoids liver lymph node and spleen is having sinusoids what is sinusoids it is the uh, it is the example of dose type of epithelium which is having discontinuity not only in the um, uh, in the uh, in the endothelium layer but also discontinuity is there in the basement membrane so it becomes a highly highly permeable structure okay now let's focus on to the next that is question number okay let's focus on to the next that is question number 14 okay so which of the following is the most common site of mucosa associated lymphoid structure mucosa associated lymphoid structure so yes i so all the best here so yes which of the following is most uh, commonly associated mucosa associated lymphoid tissue so for answering this mcq it is important that you should know what do you mean by mucosa associated lymphoid tissue an example of this is pierce patches and my dear aspirin pierce patches is present in maximum number in case of ileum so we will go with ileum as the right answer pierce patches maximum number is present in ileum maximum number of pierce patches is present in ileum so definitely we will go with uh, ileum as the right answer 
which of the following is most common site of mucosa associated lymphoid tissue so ileum is the right answer ileum pears patches ileum okay question number 14 let's move on to the next uh, that is lymphoid aggregations which is maximum in case of ileum and it is present in ileum one of the important histological feature to identify the slide also now moving on to the next that is question number 15 okay so primary curvatures of spine are seen in thorax in the cervical region in the lumbar or none of the above primary curvature of spine where it is present primary curvature of spine where it is present primary curvature of spine that means uh, the whole uh, of the spine will have concavity forward so whether it is present in thoracic region cervical lumbar or none of the above which is the right answer so actually the correct answer is thorax region i will show you the diagram firstly you have to understand the difference between primary curvature and that of secondary curvature so see here in this diagram you can see in the cervical region this is the cervical region and this is the lumbar region at this two uh, places we you can see there is convexity anteriorly so my dear aspirants why so when you will see the whole of the embryo growing baby is growing inside the womb they have flexed they are flexed like this okay so that is called as primary curvature so that is maintained that curvature is maintained in the thoracic curvature and sacral curvature so these two you can see is having concavity anteriorly so here the primary curvature the curvature which was present in the developing uh, embryo or the fetus when it was lying inside the womb but when the baby is born after that when the neck holding when the baby is having the neck holding phenomena that is approximately three to four months uh, in the cervical region there is convexity anteriorly and same by 10th month or by 12 month the baby is starting to walk or holding so okay so then they are holding the weight and standing and walking so there will be presence of lumbar curvature so in case of cervical and lumbar there is secondary curvatures there is secondary curvatures and other than that in the case of thoracic and sacral there is primary curvature so we will go with thoracic as the right answer so my dear aspirants and also before ending i would like to tell everyone that study with me test series of anatomy exciting vouchers of amazon voucher gift vouchers are waiting for you so 25th march 6 pm is the timing for the anatomy test those who are interested so definitely enroll in this test this will be highly highly beneficial for them this will be highly highly beneficial for them other than that all india need pg mock test is going to happen on 27th that is 9am 2020 27th of the march so this will be on the pattern of new pattern of the examination which is set and definitely you should join this and you should use my code and add 10 to enroll in this okay so that will be highly beneficial need pg subscription details light subscription iconic and plus subscription has been shown to you which will help you to uh, guide that with subscription you should definitely take so it is important that it will help you to guide that with subscription you should definitely go for it so actually what do you mean by light subscription that means those who want a quick revision they have already covered up the entire subject but they want a quick revision of it so they should go for light subscription other than that the aspirants those who want to revise from top to bottom or the students for example the students of first year should go for three four years of subscription so that means one time they take the subscription their university exam is cleared and also they prepare for the next the students of final year interns can take one or two years of subscription light subscription is just a few months a quick revision is given to their that is previous year question papers mcq test and all okay so this is the whole detail any of the subscription use my code and get an extra discount of 10 percent this will be highly highly beneficial for you so yes also many of the batches are starting also first year mbbs course is starting on the plus platform of an academy St students who are interested to definitely go for the subscription that will be highly highly beneficial for them okay and do join the uh, all india mock test and other than that once more i am telling 25th of the march friday 6 p.m in the evening exciting gift vouchers are where uh, is waiting for you so just get enrolled by using the code anat10 and be present in this live test which is of anatomy subject 
so also i would like to tell do join my live session by using the code i also always i give the information of all my live session so i will take the live session starting from monday tuesday wednesday thursday four days and i will give you information on the unacademy uh, platform all those can join that live session by using the code and add 10 that is absolutely free and the benefit of joining free sessions on the unacademy platform is that you will also download the unacademy notes you can download the unacademy notes of, of that class after attending the session live so that is the benefit which can be gained by you other than that do like subscribe the channel that is unacademy future doctors and we will meet with the upcoming session we'll let you know about the upcoming session all the best keep studying thank you so much thanks my dear aspirant